Hey there, my name is Veronica Isles, and I am super excited to help you manifest a marriage proposal today. I got inspired to do this because one of my clients recently manifested a marriage proposal herself, and she had actually done my deluxe specific person workshop, which is available at studywithveronica.com. She was in a situation where she was not being chosen by her person, and she ended up turning things around completely. She manifested his return, and in fact, the marriage proposal. I did create another video on this detailing her exact story. I will link that below. But I got inspired by that story to do a crash course on what it is to manifest a marriage proposal. Now, this can work if you are currently in a relationship with someone and you want them to propose to you. This can also work if you are trying to get someone to accept your marriage proposal. So you just need to tweak the exercises to kind of fit for your situation. It can also work for a situation where you're trying to manifest an ex back and you want them to propose marriage to you. It can also work to manifest a brand new person into your life that you know you don't know of you've never met you want to manifest a soulmate and you want to manifest marriage asap so it can work in all of these different situations now in this video i'm going to outline things you should be doing and things you shouldn't be doing so you definitely want to watch it till the very end because you don't want to miss a single step now, once again, if you want to work with me, studywithveronica.com. I have the deluxe SP workshop there. I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching, so we can do a phone call together. I can help troubleshoot your situation. I can help you get those results that you want and deserve. I can instantly help you feel better. Working from my years of experience and manifesting in my own life, helping other people manifest towards success. I've been on YouTube for nearly 10 years. I've been helping people for even longer than that. So I'm glad to help you in your particular situation, manifesting a marriage proposal, manifesting just about anything in life studywithveronica.com. Phone calls are a safe space where you can vent your feelings. I will help you come up with exact steps that you can put in action in your life that anyone can do that will in fact get you those results. So let's start this video with what manifestation is because you may be brand new to this word, to this idea, and you may be wondering what on earth is she talking about? Manifestation is the idea that our thoughts, our feelings, and assumptions are essentially shaping our lives shaping our tomorrows, putting into play and putting into action everything that we will in fact experience. So right now, if you do not have the marriage proposal, it means that with a simple tweak in your attitude, your judgments, your assumptions, your feelings, then in fact, you will set yourself up to a place where you are going to receive this marriage proposal. So basically manifestation means that you're manifesting everything in your life, love, friendships, money, how you look. So thus anything can be changed with a simple change in attitude, in assumptions, in what you think and what you contemplate on all day long. And it really is that simple. If you are disbelieving that this exists, I want you to deliberately choose your thoughts, your feelings, and assumptions for an entire day and watch how things suddenly begin to change in your life. And it's not merely just coincidence. It's because you changed and life around you had to change accordingly. And like I said, try it for yourself. The proof is evident. It's guaranteed and it always works. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to manifest that marriage proposal. But you can look up manifestation, law of attraction, law of assumption. Everyone's going to explain it a little bit differently, but it's basically this idea of what you think about all day long, what you give your passionate emotions to, what you contemplate, what you focus on, what you dwell upon. We're doing this already. You're already forming assumptions about the world around you. In this case, you're just doing it with purpose and with clarification of intent. So you're just mindfully choosing to think about what you actually want instead of the things that frustrate you and this idea of things never getting better. So let's get on to these steps of things that you should be doing, things that you should not be doing. And again, you're going to want to watch it till the end because you don't want to miss a single step. So step number one, you're going to imagine the moment that your person proposes marriage to you, what they say, what you say, how it feels, how delicious it is, how wonderful, how elated, how joy-filled, 
all of the emotions that you can possibly conjure up. Now, I want you to do this as freely and as easily as possible. Don't stress and strain over this step. Just daydream, allow whatever thoughts and feelings and emotions to come through. Let them all be positive, love build, beautiful, but just sort of visualize. You can visualize with your eyes open every time this person comes to mind and the idea of a marriage proposal comes to mind. Just sort of do a little daydream on this, a little mini visualization, and you're just going to want to associate the feelings and the emotions with it. Don't get worried if you can't picture their exact face or you can't smell them or you can't do this or that. Just kind of go with what you can do and it will be enough. Just enjoy the idea of this. Feel it as possible. Feel it as yours. Okay, next step. This is imagining what you're going to tell other people when it's happened. So who is the person you're going to tell first? Are you going to tell your best friend? Are you going to tell your sister? Are you going to post it on social media? Are you going to put a picture of your ring on Instagram? Like what is the first thing you're going to do? I want you to plan it in your mind with your highest joy, highest level of excitement, what feels good to you, not what you think that you should do, but what actually feels good to you. Imagine telling other people what they will say, how happy they will be for you, how they will say that you're such a great couple and you belong together and I'm so happy for you. You could imagine changing your status to engaged on Facebook, something like that. Just sort of enjoy the idea of the next step, which is telling other people. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is start expressing gratitude for this marriage proposal, but not just for the marriage proposal, but for this person who's in your life, for this person that loves you, for the idea of love. You're going to give gratitude for pretty much everything, like the fact that you're living and breathing, the fact that love exists. The fact that, you know, you're just going to give gratitude for everything in your life. Gratitude that the moment exists when you get the marriage proposal. Just start overflowing your heart with this beautiful idea of gratitude because manifestation means that whatever you focus on multiplies. It will multiply in your life. So if you are focusing on gratitude, the universe will only give you more and more things to be grateful for, especially this marriage proposal. So give thanks for love. Give thanks for this person. Give thanks for being loved. All of the things that you want within this relationship, give gratitude for it. The next thing you're going to want to do is work on I am worthy self-talk affirmations. Now, affirmations are used best when you sort of guide and direct your natural self-talk to reflect this idea of supporting what you want. So we're going to start saying things like I am worthy of love. I am worthy of this marriage proposal. I am worthy of this union together with my perfect person. I am worthy of being cherished, of being a adored. I am worthy of this marriage, this wedding. Now, I don't want you to say these things in a mindless fashion. I want you to say them with intent and purpose. Don't say the same ones every single day either. Just say whatever feels spontaneous, whatever comes to mind, elaborate on them, make them big, bold, and beautiful, and spontaneous and lovely, and just sort of elaborate your self-talk to kind of harmonize with this idea of being worthy of this marriage proposal. The next Next thing that you're going to do, and this is going to be so much fun, is you're going to start researching engagement rings. Start really getting in touch and in tune with what kind of ring would make you most happy. So do you like a round cut? Do you like an emerald cut? Do you like a princess cut? Do you prefer platinum or do you like gold? What kind of setting would you love? Do you want three stones? Do you want a solitaire? What would you like? Like what makes your heart flutter. What would look most beautiful on your finger? And I want you to start researching engagement rings and start imagining the perfect engagement ring sitting on your finger. Now you can save images of your perfect ring. I did this and it was so much fun and I got the exact ring I wanted. So which ring is just perfect for you? And I want you to feel what it would be like on your finger. You could even buy like a cheaper version of it and start playing around with what it would feel like to actually have it on your finger. Like buy one from the dollar store, like buy one from Walmart for $5 and just put it on your finger and start imagining that it could be real. This sends out a powerful vibration that you are ready to be engaged, to be the fiance. 
The next thing you're going to do is self-love days. So you're going to set aside days where you absolutely pamper yourself, where you spoil yourself, where you treat yourself really well. So think about like a, a spa day. Treat yourself to a massage or you could get your hair done, get your nails done. You could take a hot bath, do a face mask, something luxurious and wonderful for you. So this idea of taking care of yourself and showing love to yourself reinforces this idea of being loved and of gaining this marriage proposal. So again, it sends out this vibration that you are ready for this commitment, for this love, from this adoration from your perfect partner. Next, you're going to create a playlist of love songs, of songs that make you feel that love exists, that it's powerful, that it's possible, that love is beautiful. These could even be songs that you want to have played at your wedding. But just start gathering beautiful romantic songs that just make you feel good and listen to this type of music as much as possible. Music is a way of instantly elevating our emotions. So I want you to choose songs that really make you feel at one with love and being loved and real love and that true love exists. So this can help strengthen your belief in love and make it feel possible that this proposal is coming soon. Next, you're going to date yourself. You're going to go out on dates with yourself. You could even bring friends along too. And I want you to visit places that hold kind of sentimental value, romantic places, maybe places that you potentially would like to have this proposal happen at, and really get in touch with physical locations that mean romance. And this is sort of like your treat to yourself. You could visit a romantic restaurant or maybe watch a sunset in a romantic place. So it helps you to associate positive emotions with these locations. And again, it's physically bringing you there. So it's like you are saying, I'm 100% ready. Next, you are going to write a letter from your future self to the you now. This is sort of like a thank you letter. So you imagine it's the you into the future that's already married, already celebrating like a 10th wedding anniversary. And this version of you is writing a letter to the you now saying, Thank you for your determination, for your belief in love that it could happen and I'm happily married and things are so wonderful and you are living the good life and you have all of this to look forward to. So it is like a fun letter from the you in, in the future, sort of describing what life is like and how wonderful everything turned out. This can be a really fun and powerful exercise and you could seal the letter and kind of set it aside and you can read it in time. Sort of like setting the stage for these things to come. The next thing you're going to do is focus on positive love stories. So for example, television shows that talk about love and everlasting love, romance like Hallmark movies, you know, those Hallmark Christmas movies, Disney fairy tales, like anything that supports this idea of love and love conquering all and love winning and love healing and just this idea of love stories and people coming together that truly adore one another. And I just want you to start watching romance. And definitely don't feel shorted in any of these moments or jealous of these circumstances. Just be very mindful to engage in this idea that these experiences are for me too. And just really allow yourself to indulge in this idea of love, being loved, uh, having, you know, having a life with the person that loves you and you love them, this idea of unconditional love and, you know, love stories of people that are celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary, growing old together, honoring one another, just love. <laughs> now, the next step is to be careful to only share your dreams with people who will be supportive and understanding and who will cheer you on. So don't share the fact that you are manifesting a marriage proposal from people who will make fun of you or tell you you're silly or naive. Only share this with people who are going to support you, love you, respect you, cheer you on. And then likewise, you can help cheer them on for their dreams or maybe they're, they're manifesting a marriage proposal too. So just be very mindful to only share this with select people who can support and uplift you. And this is why, you know, sometimes having a coach, like for example, if you want to do coaching with me one-on-one, -on -one, we can talk, I can help support you, you can vent any of your feelings to me, and I can always kind of keep you on track studywithveronica.com if you missed that part. In any case, only share this with people who will understand and who will nurture your growth. Now, the last part of the to-do list, things that you should be doing, 
And after this step, we're going to focus on the things you should not be doing. So this is like almost more important than the list that you should be doing. Don't forget to watch it till the end. The last thing that you should be doing is you should be scripting. Scripting is this fun way of writing things down in a story-like fashion. So you could write it down in the present tense as if it's happening right now right now. You could write it down as if you are a character in a story, kind of describing the experiences. You can write it in the past tense, almost like a journal entry, almost like you're describing what the marriage proposal was like as if it happened today. So anything that kind of describes the events in full detail. The amazing thing about scripting is that when you write things down, your mind automatically imagines it. I mean, it's like when you read a book or you read a letter, like you're, you're by default imagining things, you're by default visualizing. So it's like cutting straight to the chase. It, scripting is like my favorite go-to thing if I want to engage all of my senses without having to feel like I'm working so hard. But scripting is like one of the most fun things that you can do. And I would recommend not to do this on a daily basis as if it's a job, do it spontaneously, freely, when it feels good. Okay, so now let's get to the things you should not be doing because this is almost more important than the things you should be doing. So number one, avoid any and all self-talk that's negative, doubting, defeating, cruel to yourself. Remember, you are trying to manifest a marriage proposal. You're manifesting love. So you cannot be mean to yourself in your mind. You cannot tell yourself you're stupid for wanting this marriage proposal or you're just the sad victim who will always be alone. So be very very mindful and aware of what on earth you are telling yourself. I want you to talk to yourself how you want your partner to talk to you or how you would talk to your partner, which is through love, through kindness, through compassion, through love and support and nurture. So definitely avoid doubting yourself or doubting your worthiness to have this. Negative self-talk just makes you feel bad about yourself. And if you're feeling bad about yourself, you will not be in a vibration to receive this marriage proposal. I guarantee you. Next step is impatience. Avoid impatience. I know you want this badly. I know you want this now, but it'll happen the fastest when you can allow it to happen in its own timing, when you can be free with the timeline, when you cannot need it for dear life. If you are so impatient and wanting it so badly, you will just push it away from yourself. So definitely stop checking for signs or indications that it's coming soon. Just take the attitude that it is coming soon. And when it happens, it will be perfect. It will be exactly how you've always wanted it to be. It will be so lovely and so wonderful that you will not have wanted it any other way. So you're going to avoid any and all actions that spell out impatience or neediness or attachments to this particular result. Next thing to avoid is obsessive behavior. Do not allow all of the steps that I told you in the last portion to become the substance of your entire life. You know what it's like to get fixated, obsessed about something. It means it's all you think about all the time. You need to passionately think about other goals too. We manifest things best when we don't become needy for them, when we don't feel that it's the only source of our happiness. So you don't want to need this for dear life. So really check yourself for obsessive behavior, for all-consuming behavior, like don't be looking for rings at three in the morning. Get your beauty rest <laughs> because again, self-care, self-love. Let's just allow things to happen at the right time. So yes, we do these exercises to bring about the marriage proposal, but we also live our life too. There's a nice and healthy balance. So if you feel that you're stressing out, you're definitely overdoing it. You want to feel very relaxed and free flowing about this marriage proposal. You want to feel like you're cheering yourself on. You want good vibes associated with it. So if you feel any stress, you definitely need to take a breather, set it aside for a little bit. That's okay. But we do not want it to become so consuming that you end up pushing away the very thing that you want to manifest. Next step is to avoid comparisons. For example, say your best friend just got engaged and they've been with their partner for seven weeks and you've been with them for seven months and you say, well, why didn't I get the proposal? I was, I'm with my person for longer. I should have come first. Let's stop comparing. All relationships are different. Yours is perfect. Yours is special in just the right way. 
So I know that there's pressure to be married by a certain point. I know that society seems to have these certain expectations upon especially women to have certain things by certain times, to have attained certain things, to have attained a marriage proposal by a certain time, but it's okay. You will manifest this when you are relaxed. So let's not compare anything negatively. Let's not use these negative comparisons to make ourselves feel bad. Your love story is 100% yours and 100% unique, and you will manifest this the fastest when you believe in love, you believe in yourself, and you allow it to happen in the most beautiful way possible, and you don't compare yourself to anyone else or feel jealousy or feel neediness. You see where I'm going with this. The next step is to avoid insecurity. So try not to let insecurities hold you back from feeling like you are worth this marriage proposal. Maybe you want to lose 10 pounds. Maybe you want to lose 50 pounds. Maybe you want to earn more money. Maybe you want more accomplishments under your belt. But none of these things should hold you back from being loved. Love is unconditional. And a marriage proposal means someone wants to spend the rest of their life with you and you're going to grow during this time. Like you do not have to be perfect in order to have this marriage proposal. So Stop sort of feeling insecure about yourself and thinking that you have to be a certain way in order to have this happen. Like you can have this happen right now. You are beautiful and you are perfect exactly the way you are right now. Now this does not mean that you shouldn't want to grow and better yourself, but you can grow and better yourself while you're in this relationship and while you are, you are engaged and married, you can grow together. So no need to feel insecure about who you are or make this be a reason why you can't have the marriage proposal. Next step, definitely don't avoid red flags within a relationship. If your partner is doing displeasing things, make sure to have open communication, resolve issues. Don't just overlook these things in favor of a marriage proposal because you want to be engaged. Let's have this be right and let's enter into this marriage and have the relationship be built on a strong foundation. So definitely feel free to express your needs, express what is in your heart, talk openly and honestly with your partner at all times, tell this person how you feel, what you need, sort of allow the relationship to grow. Don't sort of back off from your voice uh, in fear of losing this person, in fear of scaring them off because you've sort of expressed your true heart. Your needs matter and you want to have a relationship that is whole, that is built on a good foundation of honest love. And so you want to feel free to express these things. So I want you to feel safe within the, within this relationship and within who you are to express these things and to know that your, your needs will be heard, what you have to say will be heard, and your partner will work hard to, in fact, mend it and make it better. So don't overlook anything in favor of just gaining this marriage proposal because it will not work. Next step to avoid is losing your independence. Don't become codependent on this person. I know you love them. I know you want a marriage proposal from them. I know you want a life with them. You have to authentically be yourself. You have to have individuality to be truly loved. Like this person is going to fall deeply in love with you and want to propose marriage to you because of who you are independently of them. They're not going to do it because you've suddenly taken interest in all of their hobbies or that you rearrange your schedule to be with them. Like that's codependency. That's neediness. So you're going to want to spend nights where you just hang out with your friends without them. You're not going to want to suddenly do everything together. You're going to want to be independent with independent thoughts and maybe you'll disagree about things, but that's okay. So you have to maintain your individuality, your own interests. Yes, you can have, you can have shared interests, but allow yourself to be you and to not lose yourself in the process. Codependent relationships are doomed. They are always doomed for failure. They do not work. Don't neglect other areas of your life. So don't lose yourself in this idea of a marriage proposal. So don't lose yourself in this idea of marriage. A strong sense of self is the most attractive quality possible. And it will allow your partner to fall deeper in love with you. It is essential to manifesting this marriage proposal. The next thing you're going to want to avoid is 
neglecting other areas of your life in favor of this person or in favor of manifesting this marriage proposal. So while you're focusing on this relationship and nurturing this relationship and loving this person, do not neglect other areas of your life. You need to wholeheartedly be passionate about your career, about your your well-being, about your sleep even. <laughs> like do not be on your phone wondering why they're not texting you at 3 a.m. and neglecting your sleep. So make sure you focus on your other friendships, on your other hobbies, Balance is essential in terms of manifesting this and in terms of your overall happiness and well being, in terms of having this person fall deeper in love with you. Definitely avoid trying to seek validation from receiving this marriage proposal. You will not receive it if you're sort of placing yourself worth upon needing to have it. Like it's going to flow through when you already have a high sense of self, when you already love yourself, when you already feel unconditional love for you. Like it's not going to happen as a means of allowing yourself to love yourself. Like to tell yourself, well, I'm only someone if I can get this marriage proposal or I'll only love myself if I can get this marriage proposal. If you look at it in that way, or you look at it as a need to validate yourself in terms of society, or maybe all of your friends are engaged, so you, so you feel like you want to be too, or otherwise you're not as good as them. Like really check yourself as to why you want this marriage proposal and don't want it as a means of validation or as a means of fulfilling some kind of hole within you that is otherwise empty. Like you do not want it to feel like something that you need for dear life or something that's going to be the answer to your happiness or your prayers. Like you don't feel like you can only be happy if you have this and otherwise you're going to be miserable and be depressed. Again, if you take on it with this type of attitude, you're not going to manifest the marriage proposal. So definitely avoid this. Now the last step is to stop seeing yourself as a failure in love until this marriage proposal happens. Like you are not a failure. You are not destined to be alone. You are not broken beyond repair. You are not damaged in some way because this hasn't happened yet. Like just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it won't happen. Doesn't mean that you will not have a marriage proposal. So pay attention to your self-talk and what you tell yourself all day long, especially in regards to whether or not this is possible. Try not to criticize yourself because you're 29 about to turn 30 and it hasn't happened yet. Like it's okay. It it will happen and it will be perfect. So really pay attention and be mindful to what you are telling yourself all day long regarding the idea of having love, being loved, and having a marriage proposal. Okay, so every single one of these steps is super important. Make sure to study this video. Check yourself on all of the things to do and all of the things to avoid. Because I guarantee you, the things to avoid, you're probably doing a lot of these things already. If you can simply adjust even a little bit of what I've spoken about in this video, your results will be instant. Your momentum will build and you will have this marriage proposal before you know it. And I will be so thrilled for you. And post your success stories below. You're a success story already. I know that this video will bring you huge results. You are meant to have this marriage proposal. Once again, if you would like me to personally help you hold your hand through the entire process, studywithveronica.com, you can get my one-on-one -on -one coaching. It is a safe space that is confidential where you can express your feelings, where I will empathetically assist you in your manifestation, whether or not it's a marriage proposal or anything else you want to achieve. I've helped people in all areas of life towards success. I have thousands of success stories gained over like the past almost 15 years of doing this. So I've been at it for a while. And I'm also someone who completely changed my life around. So it all comes through personal experience. I have a free course there as well, studywithveronica.com. So make sure to enroll in that if you haven't already and invest in your well-being. Really pay attention. Take notes with everything that I said. It does work. It works when you wholeheartedly make these changes and allow it to come into being. The universe always delivers. Have an amazing rest of your day. May all of your dreams come true. This marriage proposal is meant for you.